The stars. What are stars? The night sky is full of stars. Each star looks like a tiny point of light, but stars are not really small. They are huge balls of hot gases. They look small because they are so far away from Earth. The sun is a star. It is the closest star to Earth, but it is 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers away. The next closest star to Earth is called Proxima Centaurae. It is 265,000 times further away from the sun, from Earth to the sun. If you could drive a car to the sun, it would take 193 years to get there. But it would take over 46 million years to drive to the next closest star. The Milky Way. A galaxy is a group of stars. And the sun and many other stars we see are a part of a huge group of stars called the Milky Way galaxy. There are over 200 billion stars in the Milky Way. On a clear, dark night, part of the Milky Way can be seen in the sky. The stars are so close together that they look like a milky white band across the sky. Other galaxies. There are billions of galaxies. Most galaxies are very far away from Earth and can only be seen with a telescope. Each of these bright spots is a galaxy containing billions of stars. Galaxies have many different shapes. The Milky Way is called a spiral galaxy because it has a flat spiral shape. Some galaxies are round. Other galaxies have no real shape at all. This galaxy is round and flat, unlike the Milky Way. Stars began, begun as huge clouds of gas in space. The gas squeezes together and gets very hot. The squeezed gas begins to glow and a star is born. It takes a few million, it takes millions of years for a new star to be made. A cloud of gas in space is called a nebula. A special telescope is needed to see the nebula and the new stars inside. The bright spots are the new stars made in this nebula called the Eagle Nebula. In the middle of stars, Gas is squeezed together so much that tiny pores of different gases join up. This makes powerful nuclear energy. Nuclear energy makes the stars hot and, br and bright. Stars give out 
a lot of nuclear energy in one second. A star like the sun gives out as much energy as people would use in a million years. In a million years. People use nuclear energy from power plants to make heat and electricity on Earth. Not all stars are yellow, like the sun. Stars can be blue, white, or red too. A star's color depends on its temperature. The bright stars are young. Red. The bright stars are young. Red stars. Blue stars are the hottest. The next hottest are white stars. Then yellow stars. The sun is a yellow star. Stars with the lowest temperature are red. Over 1 million Earths can fit inside the sun, but the sun is the biggest star. Red giants and supergiants are the largest stars. White dwarfs are small, hot stars. Sirius B is a white dwarf in Proxima Centrilla is a red dwarf. They are both smaller than the sun. Big Explosions After billions of years, Stars use up their energy and change. Some smaller stars become star some smaller stars lose some of their gases and become white dwarfs. The gases from a dying small star join together to make to make nebula. This is where new stars may form. Big stars explode. These huge explosions are called supernova. A black hole might be all that is left after an explosion. In black holes, gravity is so strong that not even light can, can, can escape. This is what was left after a supernova. The explosion was not big enough to make a black hole. Stars are round, like the sun, but they do not seem round if you look at them from the Earth. If they look like twin, if they look like twinking points of light, stars twinkle because they look at them. Because when we look at them, we see their light through moving air that is around the Earth. The moving air makes the starlight wiggle. So it looks like the stars are twinkling. Long ago, people noticed that the stars in the sky changed place during the year.
He also noticed that the stars came back to the same place say, at the same time every year. People learn to use stars to figure out the time. In South America, the stars sowed many people when it was time to plant crops. This is the ruins of an observ observatory the main people used in Mexico. Orion is the constellation that looks like that looks like a man hunting. Some stars form a belt along the hunter's waist. A hunting knife hangs from the belt. Lines have been added to sew Orion's shape. Can you see his belt? There's an ancient Greek story about Greece about there's an ancient story from Greece about Orion, the hunter. He was in love with a goddess named Dana, but Orion died before they could marry. Dana put him in the sky as a group of stars to remember him. This group of stars is called Scorpio, after the scorpion that was supposed to have killed Orion.